Hello and welcome back to Spyro Knights. We have just journeyed into Haven. And you know that a town that looks this good is obviously going to get invaded by demons or trolls or some other evil thing. Now, I may I have neglected to tell you this to cre to craft something you need an alchemy machine such as this one. Now, I I'm going to create a frost gun. Let's hope we get a unique variant, just so I can show you that it exists. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, this would be a very good chance to show you this, actually. You can see the normal, the normal damage, the attack speed, and the good chance of causing moderate freeze. That's still there. However, this one has... Ooh, damage bonus versus gremlin, very high. Now... You can obviously tell by that that that's sti that's very useful. Let's create a firecracker. Aha! Good chance of causing moderate fire. And let's create a scale shield. Okay, this is all. T this is turning out to be a good haul. I mean, uh, equip a gun as my first weapon and the bomb is my second. You don't need a sword. People always assume that a game where you are given a choice to have a sword or not, the sword is always the best choice, but that's not true. Okay, let's see, let's have a look at my character now. That's the frost gun, you can sit I doubt you can see it, but it's got like icicles off the end, so it's a nice touch. And then we have a bomb with a flame symbol on it. And there's my new shield. Um. Okay, Haven consists of this elevator, which teleports you to well, not teleports, gives you the access to random areas around it spawns a random area. So that's essentially the quick play option. Um, this is the suggestions box in case this disappears from actual release. And why has no other game company thought of this? Look at this. Look. It, these are called snipes. But they're hover birds. These are birds that hover by uh, swinging their wings like helicopter blades. Now why hasn't anybody thought of this? That thing is cute and deadly at the same time. Okay. Also, if I go to the left, I'll I'll go to the uh, the bazaar. There are lots of shops here. Many, many shops. I'm not going to show you them because it's. It changes daily. I think it's 12 p.m. PST time. So I'm English, so I don't. I'm not sure what that stands for. Pacific state. Anyway, um, yeah, they switch it then, and the stocks, the s the shops restock new items. Some items in the shops have unlimited buys, whereas some are only limited. And I think that carries over to everyone, so if somebody buys that thing you're after, I think you're a little buggered. So, here's the gun and explosive shop, if it'll load. Uh-uh, don't break. Hmm. Now, uh, obviously, some of this is out of my price range. What I really want to buy is a new sword, so I'm going to go to this guy. This is the blade merchant. Now, I have 1,200. What could I buy? Obviously, I have stuff to sell. Oh, that's a point. You can't sell your starting items. Now, one thing I want them to change in the actual release, I want them to either be able to sell those items or put them in some kind of storage, because they are it's not a massive problem, but having them sit there, uh, it's annoying. By the way, if you click on any items, 
while you're in the shop you can sell them obviously this is stupid everything is selling for one hmm nah um hmm No, I think that's it. I'm fine. Um, this is a guy talking to a knight. This guy is the mini recipe shop. This one, this guy will give you nice discounts. Ooh, I could do that. In fact, I will do that. Actually, how many green shards do I have? Six. Yeah, that's worth it. Now, you noticed I couldn't buy the Slime Slasher. It was out of my price range. It was 1,500. So I'm going to buy that recipe for 50. Then I'm actually going to go to him. Because it also requires the normal Slime Slasher. So I'll buy that. Did he just say Garchinky? And... Go to the R. And... Oh wait, I have to learn it. I keep forgetting that. There it is. Oh look, lo and behold. I need a slime slasher, six, three green shards and two gel drops. There we go. Now, slime slashes are very useful. Slimes may not seem like a big problem, but when you get the giant ones that have spikes growing all over their back and fire them out in as long range projectiles. Yeah. This guy is an armor dealer. Now obviously I'm a little sh skint right now so I'm not going to buy anything. And this guy is a trinket and shield salesman. But I've never seen him actually sell a trinket. I might as well buy an iron buckler. I don't have a new shield. Um, okay, this guy, he, sa he trades tokens. As I said before, you get these tokens from bosses. Like it, It's sorted so the Almirium seal is obviously a boss and the jelly jam is part of a boss. These you, no, these are items you get from bosses, and 50, 50 tokens. Yeah, it's boss runs. You can make this game hardcore, and you're obviously well rewarded for it. I would like to note that the jelly is a lot easier to get get hold of than the Almerian seal, from the fact that a sword stone for uh, the Almerian seal is one, while one from the jelly jam is two. By, by powers of deduction, that means it's hardest to get with an Almerium seal. Now, this is the big recipe shop. These are giant ones. She sells a, a few low-level ones. Like Blast Bomb and Blaster and Calibre. But this is the big, this is the big boy's shop. I mean, look at that, the Aegis. Oh, I have mail. Um, congratulations, you have reached blah blah. Okay. I have... Okay, if I was to go into the arcade, I could show you all the gems and everything. I might do that next video. I don't have time right now. Although I'm afraid that it's going to break. So I'm going to... I'm going to close the video off now. And... Next video, you'll either see me in the arcade telling you about gems, or you'll see me giving my thoughts on the game while playing my better character. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.